is the Sarasota, uh, well, city of Sarasota, there we go, if I could get it out, are they looking to get into the real estate business? skyrocketing rent, lack of affordable and low to mid income friendly housing. Uh, the city manager says it's time to explore that option. And in Tampa Bay, it's Adaria Chumba explaining plans to create the city's own workforce housing. If the city commission is swayed, one of two high rise apartment buildings will sit on this lot located right across from City Hall. Now, the city manager says it's a solution that only scratches the surface of the long existing problem of unattainable housing here in downtown Sarasota. Oh, it's insane. It's insane. It's to pretty much move in a one bedroom apartment. It's like almost eight, eight thousand dollars, nine thousand dollars. There's no place to live for people and stuff out here. So HVAC specialist Thomas Riesco says his paycheck can't afford him a roof in Sarasota. Your income at least got to be at least eight to ten thousand dollars a month just to be able to afford to live out here. So he lives in a more pocket friendly city. And Bradenton is not as expensive as it is out here because I know we're close to the water. It's like more more upper class up here. City manager Marlon Brown says despite various density and new development incentives, the affordable housing situation remains desperate. We've talked about affordable housing and attainable housing till you know, the cows come home and nothing has been done. We've gotten dribs and drabs here. So he's now calling for desperate measures with a plan to purchase lots across City Hall for $7.4 million for nearly 200 apartment units, including retail, three levels of parking, all to house workforce staff like teachers, police, police officers, government workers, and retail and hospitality folks making under $120,000. Individuals who work here but can't afford to live here, the individuals who service, the individuals who live in these high, uh, you know, priced luxury condo condos, these are the individuals that we are targeting to live across the street from City Hall. The one and two bedroom units will cost under $1,200. $1,200 to $2,000 is a decent price. If you have a partner, it's different, you know what I mean? But for single single people, single parents, you know, it's a little pricey. So $1,200 wouldn't be so much. Some key nonprofits already pledging funds, and Brown says with the green light, he can get more. We can't really wait on the private you know, sector to do something impactful that a city can do. They should put everybody together. Don't keep the rich people over here, the poor people over here. Put everybody together. In Sarasota, Aduria Chumba, Tan Tampa Bay. If approved, the project could begin as early as spring 2025. It would finish by the end of that same year. City Commission will consider the proposed project on Monday.